This is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that... I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room... And the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie... What is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie, something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? <laughs> hey, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. You'll work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they uh, you are no hell of it. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you hold. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ahti the janitor is a friendly face in my book. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. 
17 years since the men of this bureau took him. of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word and this gun's alive you know what I'm happy I'm happy to be here things have quieted down outside is it safe to go tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works? Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. 
And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? <sighs> not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. them I saw it was worth a shot thank you director Jesse I'm gonna tell her why I'm here I'll risk it listen the bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown ordinary 17 years ago the bureau came in and covered the whole thing up I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director, but that's not me. I'm not a director type, I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. 
Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The boards in charge here, their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, when the odds an altered item would show up inside a U.S. Embassy, talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? The Ocean View Motel and Casino. Green Logic. The light switch cord. The door marked with the Black Pyramid. been here before? No. I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country, on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like something recognized from a dream. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. A director needs a team, my management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. People react strongly when I tell them about you. 
Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms, the hiss? I... Sorry, you made it. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau's secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He's gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, son. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted. Otherwise, I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. 
Something tells me it's gonna be more than that. Jaha, jaha, jaha. you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. I'm gonna say perkele suoraan that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the power generators of a power plant, perkele. And the pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. Trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the thread before I go to my vacation. The work's on the task board here. You can do later. When you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes. No one's gonna cancel my holiday or seeds gonna rattle. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. They all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah, Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on, you're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, uh, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but... Whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. But Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. it. Smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling it? Well, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Try to stay alive. That's it. The other sector should be open now. Jesse, you made it. And you lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk, Emily. Listen, Emily. <sighs> Screw it. Just tell her. I, I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother. 
Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left them behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. You covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since Ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her... Polaris. As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here, in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attack. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my keycard. The sector elevator will take you there. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past, I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. Federal Bureau of Control, I'm Dr. Casper Darling, Head of Research. Somebody thought this video would make for great internal communications. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So, this is where the magic happens. Anyway, I've been here for 24 years now. I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of grave importance, and in all this work, there is one thing we know, and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality, and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome, assuming you have the necessary clearance, and, and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. 
Otherwise, bad things will happen. The astral plane. It's similar to an iceberg, what you see is not what you always get. Regardless, this place is vitally important to the Bureau. Most information on the astral plane is, is classified, but we can talk in broad strokes, keeping in mind that these are staggeringly complex systems, and simplification does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid, the board, all linked, intrinsically tied to the oldest house, tied to the director, the process of choosing a director, tied to all objects of power in terms of who controls them. Yes. An early hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective. But that was fast proven wrong. It, it's an actual place, not, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Uh, apart from one shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement native species, always in the distance, and yet contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical malfunction, but when one of our astronauts returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator, pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. Marshal, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on. I'm sending the elevator for you. We need to talk. You got that right. Congratulations on your appointment, Director Faden. I'm Helen Marshall, head of Bureau Operations. Zachariah's dead then, and I assume you found his gun. Just call me Jesse. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. Makes sense. None of this phases her? Really? Here's the situation. Darling created the HRAs in a lab nearby. We need more if we're gonna survive this attack. My rangers can't secure the lab alone. Not against those things. We need more firepower. At least she seems to know what's going on here. She could know about Dylan. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Is she testing me? Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. This should help you get past them. We'll talk more after you clear out the hiss. Rangers, let her through. We'll have to lock the door behind you. Altered item number 52AE analysis, session two. I will begin by introducing various stimuli to the item. First, a low voltage electric shock. No response. Next, I will introduce heat via a standard Bunsen burner. No response. Next, a series of solutions will be applied, each with a different value on the pH scale from zero to 14. No response to any value. Next, I will attempt to communicate. Can you understand me? Can you understand my words? Quack, 
If you can understand my words. No response. This concludes session two. We'll need time to review further tests. Okay. You must like these HRAs. Sounds like Darling built them. And most of the things around here. If Marshall can't help us with Dylan, he's our next best bet. Assuming he's not dead. Or taken over by the hiss. You let me hear? Any idea how to make it work? Hello again, Director. It appears we have a new problem. We need to get the HRA machine working. I've replaced a couple of spark plugs, but this looks a bit more complicated. Darling must have had a system. Randomness isn't in his nature. The punch cards, the symbols, the terminals. How do they connect? I'll see what I can do. Prism shattered. Darling's prototypes have a lot of issues. We need a new plan. We need more Black Rock prisms to make this machine work. Darling has another lab down in the Black Rock processing site and maintenance. That must be where he keeps the prisms. I've been to maintenance already. I can find my way. But how long will that take? Nothing here is simple. I need to ask her now, before I go. I need something from you first. What do you know about Dylan Faden? I knew this was coming. Lives are at stake here, and we need this machine working to save those lives. Once that is done, Director Faden, then we can talk. She's right. As much as I don't want to admit it, I'm the only one who can help. Fine. I'll get the prisms first. Dylan will have to wait just a little longer. But don't call me director. Jesse is fine. I'll call you Fate. Here, you'll need this key card. Thanks. Emily Pope has set up a base in Executive. Once I have the prism, I'll meet you there. Right. I'll move out immediately. And keep an eye out for Darling. Finding him might be the key to stopping the hiss. <laughs> It's just one large scale HRA. It's there now. We are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance. Hostile, viral, invasive resonance. I think that's, that's what the Hedron resonance amplifiers are for. Taking the protection Hedron can provide us and keeping us from being wiped out. Here, this will lead back to central research. I'm glad to see you're still you. Doing so hot. You're fine. We'll push through this. The hiss of the ones doing the pushing, Doc. Hey, thanks for bringing down that. whatever the fuck that was. But we are barely holding on here, boss. How's the situation outside maintenance? What do I tell him? The truth is harsh, but these people seem familiar with death. The hiss are everywhere. Most of the Bureau is lost. We need Black Rock Prism to make more HRAs for any survivors in the safe rooms. I'm here to check Darling's Black Rock lab. So to recap, uh, death, disaster, and imminent destruction. Another day at the FBC. Well, Darling's lab is just past Black Rock processing. But I got good news and I got bad news on that front. Good news is, it's right down the hall. 
Bad news is, a Hiss monster has decided to move in, so that's great. Monster. That's what the Rangers said. The ones that survived, anyway. But we are just treading water here, and the Hiss keep coming. Salvador would know what to do, but apparently he took a security team into the containment sector just before the lockdown happened, and... Well, no one's seen him since. But hey, at least we got you, our fearless leader. They shouldn't rely on me. They don't know me. They don't know how I failed people. You've done a good job here, Arish, but you should take your people and get to the base and executive. You can regroup there. I'll go deal with this monster. I'm getting kind of used to them. Aye, aye, Faden. And be sure to put a bullet in that thing for me. Under the right conditions, when the frequencies match, other dimensions leak in. We call these areas thresholds. The quarry is one of the more stable thresholds in the maintenance sector. That's, that's where Black Rock comes from. You heard that too, right? Matter. Black Rock comes from the a threshold. Ari. Frequencies. A, a so the prisms must be there too. Contained. Think of it as paranatural lead. Our research involves many dangerous things we absolutely need to keep in check. That's what the Black Rock line fire breaks are about. The panoptican container uh, cells. Sorry to interrupt, sir, but I need the code of the quarry elevator. Oh, uh, Emily, the codes, Blackrock 665, neighbor of the beast, get it? We can do that again. Darling's key. This should get us into the quarry. Everything here is crazy. Weird, but it feels right. Like how the world should be. I am in an infinite building leading to different dimensions, and I never want to leave. Even with all the horror, I'm happy. Just the right kind of insane. Had to take a detour into the quarry, but I found plenty. Here. We will start HRA production immediately. I promised I'd tell you about Dylan once you helped us. This is it? She knows. Seventeen years I've waited. Your brother is here. He was once known as Prime Candidate Six. Codename P6. We brought him here after the ordinary event. He was groomed to be the future director. He had talents far beyond any other candidate in the program. Of course he did. We found you together. We share a bond. Are you with him now? So you kidnapped him. We took him in. Your parents vanished along with every other adult in Ordinary. Eventually, his power changed him. There were casualties. He wasn't fit to be the director. Did you know about this? Is this why you didn't bring me here sooner? Were you keeping me away? Where is Dylan? He's kept in the containment sector, in the Panopticon. My brother... I thought we were the same. What if we are? I'm going. Now. I expected as much. I need to go check on something. Something I cannot let the Hiss find. It shouldn't take long, but you must watch the Bureau while I'm gone. And remember, Dylan is dangerous. Do not let him out, Director Faden. How do I make her stop calling me that? I'm not here for them. Simple here. These people took my brother, but they've accepted me without question. Are they my enemies or my friends? I need to see Dylan. I need to know. I wish.
wish you could tell me what you know, explain things. Just stay with me, okay? I could use a friend right now. It's been a long time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him, what kind of man he'd grow up to be, for things as hard for him as they were for me. Maybe in here, they were even harder. Oh, hello. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director. Right. Uh, well, okay. Hello. I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered I items. I don't have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there. <laughs> it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV? It's, uh, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so uh, just do that. Here, I'll get the door for you. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. Hey, listen to this. Containment failure in Panopticon cell 69. Get it? 69. I do not see what is humorous about this game. The Panopticon. Dylan's close. But that object of power might wreck this place before I find him. Salvador, the head of security. His team didn't stand a chance. Okay. The TV. Another object of power gone nuts. Here we go again. Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. We need to get back. I have to see my brother. The resonance emitted from the HRAs is purely antithetical to every variant of the His signal I can arrange. But how did Darling create it? No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. But am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the His, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother. 
Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. You are a part of your time. The thunder's home distorts you. Happiness comes, white pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, inverted his mirror. Right? Leave your insides by the door. Push the thing through the surface into the way. You've always been a mirror. You are this betrayal. We stand around you while you dream. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. Through time, the thunder's home distorts you. Happiness comes. You are a warm through time. Shit. The thunder's home distorts you. That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, on Dylan. I'm here. I found you. You lost them in there. You want this to be true. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface and into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Can you to stop be that? true. Please. Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in! You've always been here! The only true! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop copy. it! Orange peel! Shit! Shit! He can see you! This is not safe! We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. In ordinary. In the desert through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trunch took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for applause, we build you till nothing remains. The egg cracks and the truth will march out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I need your warm as a tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut this off the slide more. projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. In your regulations. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? 
Bullshit. I saw what the Hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this lie projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a one through time. I wish things had gone differently in ordinary for us. But wishing won't change things. Finding the projector will. Together in this one case, a new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's that's saying something. I, the boy, Dylan Faden, prime candidate six, and the sister as well. Well, once we catch up with her, but the, the boy, so much potential. Well, we're talking Northmore level readings here, and, and I don't want to invoke his name. But it's com completely different circumstances here. It's remarkable. There was an incident. Yes. We lost a valuable member of our team, yes. Excessive force. Dylan has so much. He's, he's just a kid. I, I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Roberts got killed. It's an unfortunate accident. That's all. Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. We'll make this work. Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. All the times I felt paranoid, I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan, and other kids as well. We loved it. This time, I remember was different. We found a way in, deeper into it, like it had shifted. We went inside, and that's where we found the slide projector. A dump is a place for lost things, things that have been thrown away. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes, but that has nothing to do with- Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? No! That's just stupid. Come on. That has nothing to do with this. Nothing. The slide projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? You know, stepping into a painting, into a hidden world, escaping and finding adventure there, away from your parents. I don't... I... I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. I don't know. There is
a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of altered world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life, popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there's something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power, with our minds. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions or die trying. <laughs> You mentioned a poem last time we talked. By Thomas Zane? Yes. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. Hmm. I looked the poem up. Only I couldn't find any poet by that name. I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s, named Thomas Zane. What? I don't... No matter. It suits you very well, the poem. How you see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself. I didn't. No matter. You've said a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing. Can we talk about that? Okay. Yeah, um, it's this. I feel an emptiness, a yearning for something that I think I lost. It's natural for you to feel that way. Your brother and your parents are dead. No. No. Dylan's not dead. And that's not even it. You're referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood? Polaris. She's come back. After a long time, she's calling me. In a dream I saw, she... She showed me things. Jesse. It felt more real than anything. As real as what happened in Ordinary. The industrial accident in your hometown? That you believe Polaris caused? No, it wasn't an accident. There was no industrial accident and Polaris didn't cause it. She saved me and Dylan. Jesse. No. It was a cover-up. The government knows about it. There were agents there. Agents from, I don't know exactly, but they took Dylan. They, I'll find them. I won't stop looking. Polaris wants me to go to New York. There's a building there. I have to leave soon. I have to be there at a very specific time, something Something hugely important is going to happen. Jesse, you know we can't let you go until you're well. And that begins by understanding what's real and what's imagined. Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Uh, transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. Darling took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next. Now this boy left, said the son of Anniki Tahti. 
My assistant will keep work in the club and the house standing. Lomille lumps, holiday humps. How can anyone even get out of here while the building's sealed? Let alone go on a holiday. There's something up ahead. Do you see it? Hey, girl. What a fin. Holidays. Holy. Ati? <laughs> Did you miss me? Did you have peace in your song? Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Park don't make a wound. You did good. Take my cassette player. You can borrow it. The song is a present from my friends to you. It will get you through the maze so you can do your job. Did that really just happen? Of course it did. He gave me his cassette player. It'll get me through the maze, huh? The janitor always has the keys. Yeah, you want me here. Finding the projector was how this all began. What started in ordinary ends here. You, me, Dylan. We've all come full circle. This side towards screen and the number 36. The topography of slidescape 36 bears deep wave marks. On the slide and in the distance, there's a formation of five pillars like crude, outstretched fingers. There were casualties on our first expedition. Communication is an issue. There is no sound there, as if you've gone deaf. And radios don't work. Correction, a resonance from an unknown source in part within the range of audible frequency. It acts in unpredictable ways, causing feedback loops that can tear you apart. Trench insists he heard something else. It made his ears bleed. Our equipment found no evidence of anything beyond the primary resonance. Trench's medical tests showed nothing amiss. The projected image from each slide is a, a physical portal into another dimension. Only one slide remains. Dylan's sister burned the rest in ordinary before we could intercept. The text on it, color slide film, this side towards screen, and, and the number 36. The topography of slidescape 36 bears deep wave marks. On the slide and in the distance, there's a formation of five pillars like crude, outstretched fingers. There were casualties on our first expedition. Communication is an issue. There is no sound there, as if you've gone deaf. And radios don't work. Correction, a resonance from an unknown source in part within the range of audible frequency. It acts in unpredictable ways, causing feedback loops that can tear you apart. Trench insists he heard something else. It made his ears bleed. Our equipment found no evidence of anything beyond the primary resonance. Trench's medical tests showed nothing amiss. Expedition three. We located the source of the resonance in Slidescape 36. It is an entity. A living organism of a considerable mass. I, I've named it Hedron based on its physical shape. Hedron? We, we, we built a Was that board. you? 
Did he bring you here? Is that why you brought me here? You're here. You're here. They have you. I know you. I remember her from ordinary. I thought I'd never see you again. Hang on, I'm coming. here? You are coming through so strong. Darling, use this HRA to lock the door. I have to rip it off to get in. Are you sure? Okay, I'll be there. Hang on. I... I made it. The hole in your room is a hole in you. You can't if we let you into the hole in you! You have always been here. The only child. A cop. Of a cop. Of a cop. No. Why did you... Poster comes down, and there's nothing there. It's just the cell and death. I was wrong. There was never anything there. Hello, Polaris, are you there? Please, you can't let this happen. Please, 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 Federal Bureau of Control, how may I help you? I need those field reports typed up and in management's hands first thing the tomorrow. The Bureau is the best at what it does, protecting everyday Americans from farm threats. There's the new girl, standing around daydreaming when she should be getting work done. Who the hell does she think she is? The director? Sorry, 
I'm sorry. Why do they keep you around? I'm sorry, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me a chance. You're dismissed. Anything for the Bureau. I've got nothing more. Let me know if you need anything else. Sir, you are not lost. Maybe you can find yourself in the director's office. Oh, great. I was just waiting for my mail. Please, take the outgoing mail as well. What? What is happening? I don't like this. No, this isn't me. I'm not me. I can't.
You should keep trying. You are getting closer. I need to go inside. I need to keep moving. Go away. Don't bother me. in. I'll fix this. I can hear them plotting against me. We've been invaded, corrupted. I've lost Darling. He was the first to go. He's been exposed to Hedrin's resonance. It controls him now. It controls everyone who wears the amplifier device. I ordered them not to use the damn things. Hedron corrupted the Bureau. They'll never be people again. They're either dead or they're monsters. I'll stop them. I have a secret ally. The Nostalgia Department. I have my own slide for the projector. I took it. A memento. In ordinary. After the girl burned them. It's burnt, but it'll work. The hiss will save us all. I, um, lost my train of thought. I, I, um, it, it's confused. Like, uh, somebody you know, switching channels too fast. But, uh, I, I, I see so much, but it's, it's, it's too fast. On the expedition through the slide, Something got into my ear, and it hurt at first. But then it didn't. It uh, started as a, a distant whisper, like something you hear in a, a dream, like a faraway voice calling you to wake up. I'd open my eyes with those, those words still on my lips. See, in the dream, they had made Perfect sense, but awake there like a, like a foreign language, already forgotten. Then the sense of loss hits, like losing a child, like losing yourself. You see, I was being taught a song, a poem prayer that would light up my world and, and make me break through, make all this pain worth it. 
Something once lost was found, and it made a home in me. A spring with, like, waves carving me, and making me see. And it grew until it filled me. And I receded deeper into myself, into this office, locked in in this oldest house, which is my uh, aging body. I stared in awe through the people, and I was filled with knowledge and made better. You know, I uh, often feel like I'm <clears throat> being watched. Yeah, like there's someone watching me. They can see me, but I can't see them. I remember it was like, like this dream I had last night. See, there was a, there was this man mm -hmm, here in this very room. And then well, sometimes he was a, a plumber unclogging the drain and well, because there was a fish stuck there. Yeah, a big fish. But sometimes he was, he was an old god, you see, and, and he had put the fish there in, in the, uh, the first place to, uh, well, to, to, to keep the waste. Th there was rising waste uh, from leaking out. So he was, um, oh, he was, he was conflicted, but he, but, but he knew many things. But, but he was, uh, he, he was also sort of senile, like me. It, it was more like a, it was like a, a riddle or, or, or an omen. It, it, it wasn't a very good one or, or an interesting one, but, but I, I get so confused so easily. Um, it, it, it's it's so very hard to uh, to follow every everything that's happening. <sighs> I won't let them win. That's how it happened. The hiss got Trench first. He turned on the projector. He let them in. I have to remember the hiss. The hiss is the enemy. Burrowing in, I'm trapped in here. They're taking over. I will fight this. I will find a way to push them out. Welcome back. I knew I chose a move for our system. I need my gun. I you are a worm through time. The thunder saw scorch you. I know what I must do. Start at the beginning. I should have seen it earlier. This is my mess to clean up. My fight. No one else's. I am. The director. Hello, this is Dr. Casper Darling. I have a classified message for the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. I have sad news. Pedrin is gone now, but it was not a source. It was a catalyst. Do you understand? You must go to my office, the end game. It will be revealed.
grow brighter around one constant they revolve Hedron is dead but you're alive here in me maybe Hedron put you in our heads when we met her maybe you were always there and she was just trying to teach me how to trigger you Maybe I'll never understand. Maybe I don't need to. Trench was the first to be corrupted by the Hiss. Slowly, over the years. His need for control only made it worse. It was Trench who took the projector to the nostalgia department. He opened the door to the Hiss. Just like that. With Hedron dead, the Hiss tried to corrupt me too. But I'm stronger than them. We're stronger. They're waiting. They'll try to stop us. Dream. Bad dream. And the whole world was dreaming with her. Dylan? She convinced herself that she was awake. She's always been stubborn. I knew I had to end her dream. I had to wake her up. I had to rip down poster she'd been staring at. Cut off her eyelids to make her see. To save her. somewhere locked inside I know because that's how it was for me Dylan's in a coma. I don't know if there's anything of him left in there. If he'll ever find his way back. The portal's been closed, but the hiss is still in the oldest house. And the lockdown can't be lifted as long as any trace of it remains. I'm working on a solution with my management team, but there is still a long road ahead. I'm the director of the Federal Bureau of Control. We're in this together. You and I. <laughs> 